Okay, so currently me and my lovely mom. Hi mom. <laughs> we are on our way to um, my mom's brother's wife. So it's my auntie. We're on our way to her, um, the line's really bad. But we are on our way to her birthday high tea thingy my bob. Um, I think she's turning 60, right? Yeah, she's turning 60. So it's a high tea and it's quite class classy. But I'll show you guys that um, when we're there. I probably won't talk. I'll just show everything. But um, yeah, I'm quite excited. I just did my workout because I knew I was going to eat a lot now. And probably not too great stuff, like too healthy. So I'm happy about that. And I can't wait to show you guys and I can't wait to eat. Like seriously, I think this is like... Every day, my high, like my high point of the day, is eating, and that's really sad, I think. But then again. Hello. So last time I spoke to you guys was actually um, when I was on my way to a high tea for my auntie's sixtieth. And I said in the end, I said that I will show you guys like how it is there. But turns out I was like by far the youngest. So it was a bit awkward like to just be there without a camera. Because firstly, they're not really like really understand this whole vlogging thing. So I didn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, update. I hopped on a plane today to come to Durban for two days of work. Um, it's for a sports brand. Um, but I'm super excited, smart towel room. And this is Jeff, if you want to meet Jeff. Jeff came with me on this journey. Yes, I take my teddy bear everywhere. My piece of home. <laughs> I know I'm 20 and I still have a teddy, but come on. <laughs> Whatever, I don't have anything else. So. My piece of love. And what else? I'll just, I'm just here, I just showered, I just, Said this told the story on my Instagram story as well, but I showered with a tempered shower. Like this sh shower here, like literally my bum cheek would touch it and it would freaking burn me to death. And then if I just look at it to turn it colder, it would freeze me up. Like it's one of those where you just shift it with like a millimeter and it kills you. So yeah. And what else? Nothing else really. I'll take you guys with me. I have a super super early call time tomorrow like six so um i probably won't i'll probably only start vlogging when i have like either first when i have breakfast in or when it's like hair and makeup but that's it basically and i'll show you guys my two days in durban i think it's mostly going to be work but we'll be over that so good night sleep tight So it's just past seven and we are today, we are shooting at a pool and it's like, I think it's six degrees outside at the moment. So it's freezing, but I think I'm the lucky winner of shooting at the inside pool and he has to shoot at the outside pool. So I feel really bad for him, but I'm kind of really happy for me. So <laughs> not too bad, um, but I'll keep you guys posted and I'll show what I can show and may show. Um, but yeah. I'm actually dying of cold and now I need to go swim. It's much colder but then I don't have the mentality of I need to go into a pool. It's like I can be under a blanket and chill. Oh. So we just finished day one of the Mr. Price sports job and we shot at this lovely pool at St. Mary's in um, Durban well like Kloof I guess they call it um, and it was a lot of fun this Kendall my makeup artist for today <laughs> she put I think her makeup on me like four times <laughs> because we were in the water and stuff so it kept like going off which is fine because it was like action shots and so on but um 
now we are done for the day it's about 4 p.m. now it was so freezing it was six degrees like I'm not kidding you guys I'm dying and we did about five or six shots and then tomorrow we're doing in studio and I think it's more like yoga stuff and I think I'll probably vlog a bit more then but I can't cannot like show the stuff on camera so I'm um, I'll just vlog in between I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow and now we're gonna go get dinner which I'm so happy about hey wow now we're gonna go get dinner that I'm so happy about and then I'm gonna go jump into bed because I am dead like I used to be a swimmer for 10 years and I was pretty good at it then but now I'm so out of swimming training and I'm literally dead like I'm so tired there's like 62 people that's here for training now they're probably like two years younger than me but like who cares wow like I can always look right <laughs> I'm just taking it here from the sailing good morning it's the second day on set for um, Mr. Price Sport and today we are shooting in this really nice location it's like a studio if you can see behind me uh, say hello there's the team the lovely team and today we are shooting like yoga they actually have a yoga instructor which I'm really happy about because um, I do yoga but I don't think I'm too great at like doing everything right so it's quite it'll be quite interesting to see what i do wrong and to, to get help um what else it's amazing studio like the view i'll show you guys so this is the view from the outside it's so amazing like um, we had the ooh, there we go we had this really funky uh, a situation last night at the guest house that we lived at it was like a bit of a weird one but anyways um, so this is my second outfit of the day already actually I'm done done with the first one this is the second one I'm doing yoga there's my third one doing yoga today and I'm super excited to show you guys when the final product comes out and I can't wait to share that with you guys and then tonight I'm leaving me and the photographer and the guy model are leaving back to Cape Town tonight and then I'll take you guys on set tomorrow again. Dodgy place. We stayed at Deliverance last night. Yeah, on the Yes, well, even name shame, it was that bad. So it was like super dirty and everything, and my room was super scary. And then just before I went to bed, I was like, wait, the sliding doors can't lock. And I saw like these workers on the premises and everything. So what if they like get into my room and I'm like, yo, Steve, please can I come sleep in your room? Steve was like, yeah, till I've got another like single bed. I moved to Steve's room. We had the best night, we just laughed about it. We cabined up and... <laughs> but it was so funny, I was so scared. And then turns out the <laughs> sliding door also couldn't even lock. So we were just like so happy that if something happened, we were at least two and we could like fight the people. I don't know, or the apes or monkeys or whatever. Because there was actually monkeys, so don't really like sound yet. Yeah. But yeah, and then we did our shooting today. Um, I think I'm going to be so stiff tomorrow. They could be in positions, like yoga positions, that I thought I could never do. Did, but it was nice. It gave me some rests in between. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would tell the story. So me and Steve are good friends now. We had to overnight together because yeah, of the really good friends. Really dodgy, like. <laughs> but we we <laughs> survived. Stuff. Yeah, we survived, and now we are finally back home. Okay, so we just got onto our SA. Uh, uh, fly Saf Air. Fly Saf Air so first time I'm flying Saf Air. And we tried to book in last night. Sorry that it's so close by, but my arm doesn't really have like. We tried to book in last night to be early. By the way, this is Steve, the photographer. Hi. <laughs> and then we were like, we're going to be smart and book in like an aisle and a window. So, so they're going to like try and get someone because they want to sit in the middle. So maybe they'll just like overlook that seat. <laughs> Turns out there was a person, but I was like a little boy. So it's chill that he's got space. And we, it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. I, see, I, I don't know. Maybe we scared him. 
But we kind of told him it's fine, Steve will sit in the middle. Because he's so tiny, it's fine. Like, I'm just happy we didn't get like a big. You know, we were struggling there over these back. I don't know if you want to be in the vlog, but anyway. <laughs> and now we're taking this flight, so pray that we get home safe. We were like almost missed the flight, we were late with traffic and everything, but hopefully everything will work out fine. We made it, and I'll tell you guys when we land back in Cape Town. Okay, back to Cape Town. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.